All right, we are doing a quick video here on how to switch your wheels, and this is recorded with the Yi M1. This movie is not about switching your wheels, it's more about how can you use a Yi M1 when you um, make a video like this. So, is the Yi M1 good enough um, doing a video like this? And as we can see here, in this first image already, it works pretty good. So, but now we are picking the camera up to take a little close up to do like an inspection basically of the area where we worked on. And now the missing image stabilization as well as the um, autofocus, the CAF, the constant autofocus, is just not good enough. Um, I don't know if the autofocus has problems when it's shaking a little bit, but um, as you can see here, so this would was would not be a good enough performance of this camera to film in this way. So let's have a quick look at the next scene. We have those two bars here on the left. They are very nice, not blurry. But then I move in with action. The wheel is moving back and forth, and I go up there, and I'm blurry. So, the camera is focusing on constant autofocus. The big question is, why does it not focus on the stuff that is moving in the image? You would imagine that that moving stuff is uh, something you want to focus on, but no. So, the camera is not intelligent enough to do this. Now, I am sitting there doing this don't notice all this, right? Because I have no screen where I can control this on. Even if I would purchase an external screen, I would not be able to see what's happening there because the HDMI connector on the camera will only um, show footage when you play, when you replay. So if the camera plays something you recorded, then uh, it will work. So now you see it focused all of a sudden. So how did it make that decision on its own, that this now should be in focus, the wheel. So it picks whatever it likes, and that is often not good enough. The problem, you don't know when it does this. We go to the next close up here to show the tire rotation. Yeah, and then I focused on the text. That's not too bad, but. Right, so there's another scene. This is underneath the car. There is the lighting thing. It's weird. You see that it focuses back and forth between things without any moving parts in the, in the video. So now I'm coming in with the moving part. There's contrast, different contrast, more color. And watch the constant out of focus, how it focuses, and then watch it focus. So here again, uh, relatively okay video, it's focused where I'm spinning there, the car in the background is not, that's how I want this, and then this scene here, so the aperture here is adjusting on its own, that's good, but um, move the wheel back and forth here, you can see it's not right, it's going all of a sudden too, too bright or too dark. Oh, it's not fully automatic here, right? Look, I put the tire on there like that. Just as I want to go like this, and then all of a sudden it's too dark. Right? Now, <coughs> I'm going with manual now again, not manual, like I'm carrying the camera to do a little... Uh, Check here and what you see is oil. So there is oil spilling from the shock absorber. That's not good. Chrysler, right? 50,000 miles and yeah, this thing is hosed. Great. Three years. Well, next shot. So here you see it focused after turning it on. On the right spot. So that's not too bad here. And then I come into the picture and see how that looks like. Moving the tire around. <coughs> but 
make me stay and focus. Like four parts of the picture stay and focus. So not too bad. Here. So we have another one where stabilization is not present in 4K. It's time where it focuses. It has a difficult time, let's say that. And then we have another scene here, the next one here. It's again not bad, so there is good ones there. So, in regards to lighting, I don't know why it changes now. This to a uh, glider and get close in there with the wheel. And then all of a sudden it changes to a nice brightness. By the way, those tires uh, weigh in 32 kilograms, so they are heavy. So at the end, let me put in a few still pictures. Um, they are zoomed into one-to-one -one pixel size. So the pictures at the end are larger. I just want to show the resolution here in this 4K. So this is not zoomed, or but the pixel match the 4K video format here. The actual picture of the camera takes is larger than this. <laughs> 